Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and we're going to take a look at the difference between a hard drive and a solid state drive in a speed test comparison. In this comparison, I replaced the old hard drive. This is a late 2008 MacBook. It was the aluminum MacBook before they named it the MacBook Pro and I'm replacing the hard drive with a solid state drive and I'll show that in a different video. But in this video, we're going to compare the speed. Now this particular video, we're using the Plexter M6S. They were nice enough to send this along for review and this is a 256 gigabyte model is about $145. So pretty inexpensive compared to what they were a couple years ago. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Otherwise, this is going to be an interesting test to see which one is faster. Is it worth it? And I think it is in my experience using solid state drives, but we'll be curious to see what the actual times are as far as boot up and a couple different applications. So take a look at this. One thing to know is that these both have the exact same operating system on them. I actually just cloned the hard drive using super duper and I'll show you that in a different video. Here we're testing Pixelmator, it's an app in the App Store, and on the solid state drive, it just opened, it's very quick, and on the hard drive, you'll see it still hasn't opened, so it does take some time actually, and it makes a big difference in everyday use. Still waiting for it to come up on the hard drive. We'll just wait while hopefully it opens here. We're still waiting for it to open and obviously it still hasn't opened. So it, it really does make a difference. Now keep in mind, this is an older Mac. It's a two gigahertz dual core Mac or core two duo Mac and it has four gigabytes of RAM. So things are gonna be a little bit slower. It is running the latest version of Mavericks and this accounts for some of that. Now sometimes programs crash and maybe that's what's happening here, but overall it really does make a difference with different programs, especially more resource intensive programs like iMovie or Aperture, which is now extinct, but Aperture, Photoshop, things like that, it usually makes a pretty big difference in. So you'll see here, it does not seem like it worked. I'll have to quit it and there we go. I'm not sure what happened, but it popped up. So maybe it hung up in a process or something. The next test will be iTunes. So let's see how quickly this comes up. And in this test, it will be, well, it looks like the hard drive came up a little bit faster than the solid state drive. So that's pretty surprising, but we'll try out iPhoto next. So open those at the same time and you'll see the solid state drive came up slightly faster and we'll see who wins here. It looks like the solid state drive won again, but not maybe by a whole lot. That was the speed comparison. Pretty impressive speeds, I think, as far as speed overall. Obviously, read-write speeds are going to vary. Plus, this is a little older MacBook, so things will change depending on the age of your MacBook or whatever you're using this in. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.